there guys, I'm back. This is Ching Pronton. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for you to be updated on my next videos. For today's video, I will share to you how I was able to fix my problem with my printer. I have my printer since I was in college and this was the only time I encountered that uh, palagi siya nagmang multi-feed page error. So, I'm very thankful that I was able to fix it by myself and without spending any centavo. If you are encountering the same problem with your printer, this video might help you. Kapag multi-fit page error, dalawa lang yung nagiging reason niya. Una, maaring may naputol na spring sa kanyang roller. Second, may problem sa kanyang sensor. So, the first thing na chinect ko ay ang kanyang roller. So, I remove first the screw using the screwdriver. Para makuha natin yung roller, kailangan mo nang kunin or i-remove yung ink pad. Actually guys, kapag gumagawa ka nyo yan, dapat naka-set aside yung mga cord so that you can move freely. So, ganyan yung pagtanggal ng ink pad. You have to push to the right after you remove the screw. So, make sure guys na may nakaredy kayong brush kasi magugulat kayo sa alikabo at uh, dumi na naka-inbox sa loob. So, ayan. Kailangan mo natin linisan yan kasi nga um, madumi. So, after malinisan at matanggal yung dumi at alikabok sa loob, tatanggalin na natin ang kanyang spring para mailabas na ang roller at ma-check kung may naputol bang spring o wala. So, ang pagtanggal ng roller, ihilahin mo lang siya palabas. Then, after that, lilinisan ulit natin ang loob ng printer para matanggal yung mga natirang alikabok at dumi. Kasi minsan, nag i lang yung printer dahil nga sa mga naka-inback na dumi sa loob. O kaya may, na, may nakapasok na uh, itis, maliit na daga, ganyan. And of course, nilinisan din natin yung roller bago natin siya buksan at matingnan kung may naputol nga na spring. So, paano natin malalaman kung yung, yung roller ay may sira? Ayan. Kung nagagalaw natin yung roller in any direction, meaning to say may naputol nga na spring. Kasi dapat, yung roller natin ay one direction lang. Hindi siya nagagalaw in reverse. So, bubuksan natin ang roller at i-check kung talaga bang may naputol. So, nakikita nyo may naputol nga na spring. So, don't worry kasi pwede naman yan ma-remedyohan kasi may natira pa namang spring. Uh, iusog mo lang yan siya sa unahan tapos magbe-bend ka ng maliit pa maliit doon sa naputol.
after that, ibabalik natin siya sa kanyang lalagyan at ibabalik ulit doon sa loob ng timpo. So, after mo siya ma-place sa kanyang lalagyan, ibabalik na natin ang kanyang spring. And after that, kailangan din natin ibalik ang ink pad. At screw ulit natin siya. Then, ibabalik na natin ang ibang parts at matry na natin kung gagana ba ito o hindi. First try. We'll see if it will work or not. Kung gagana na siya, then nasa roller talaga yung problem. Kung hindi siya gagana, then nasa sensor. Ayan. So, tingnan natin ha kung mag-multi-feed page error pa siya. Oops. Ayun. So, meaning to say, yung problem nga talaga niya is nasa roller. And tama yung ginawa ko na yun yung una kong tinignan. Then let's have uh, another try. Second try. <coughs> Oops. Okay, so problem solved. Hindi siya nag. The error. We're done! But before we end, let me have this first. Shout out to Isabel Tolentino at hand. Sabi niya, Vlogger yut asi ma'am. Yes, nak. Ngayon lang naman. Baka lang naman ma-discover, di ba? <laughs> anyway, guys. Isabel Edhan is also a YouTuber. So, subscribe nyo siya, guys, sa kanyang um, YouTube channel. Isabel Edhan. Next, shout out to you, Jovelin Doreta. Hello, nak. Kamusta? Sabi niya, ahaha, pa shout out, ma'am. I'm a fan po. Vlogger na siya. Ay! Thank you always, anak, for the support. And... Mega shout out to April Joy Patron Plana. Hello, Nakshi. Awit sana all. Pa shout out naman, ma'am. O, ayan na ha. Wala na akong utang sa inyo. Shout out sa inyo lahat. And, dyan na nga nagtatapos ang ating vlog for today. Thank you so much for watching. See you again sa aking next vlog. Bye-bye.